So if you have a UHF system that has a head tracker port and you want to connect your FPV goggles to that, then this video should help you. So I use the MFT Link UHF system. So as you can see that I have a head tracker port over here, which is labeled as HT. So if you plan to go long distance with your UHF system and you want to use the head tracker feature, then this is where you would connect your FPV goggles and use it. And let's say you have a simple radio system like the Flysky FSI6X or even the Dumbo RC radio, both of which do not have the trainer function in the settings. So that way it's a bit difficult to connect the goggles to the radio directly. So in that case, you can use the head tracking feature on your UHF system and then use it. So let me start off with the wires that I'll be using. So firstly, I'll connect the power cable and the radio signal wire to my UHF system which goes on the first port which is the RC port and this is the connector that would go to the DSC port of the radio so the Dumbo RC radio has a built-in jack which can fit the 3.5 mm jack but the FSI6 has the PS2 type connector so for that, I can use this uh, extension cable which plugs into the 3.5 mm jack and the other end can be connected to the radio like so. So after connecting the UHF system to the radio transmitter, the next thing that I'll do is I'll use the head tracking cable which again has the 3.5 mm jack and I'll plug this to my Cobra X and and at the other end of the head tracking cable I've fixed a standard servo connector to the 3.5 mm mono jack so the top part of the jack is the PPM signal section and the bottom section is the ground so I have a diagram over here that you can take a look at and I'll plug this to my head tracker port of the UHF system so I know the pins on my UHF system the first one is the ground the second one is the signal the third one is the power or the VCC pin and the last one is again the ground connection so accordingly I'll plug this in so now the head tracker from the goggles is connected to the UHF system but because we are using the head tracking port which is nothing but a second port for the radio signal we will have to configure the channels so to assign the channels from the FPV goggles to my UHF transmitter I will have to connect this to my computer so once I connect my MFT link UHF system to my computer so this is the text file that I'll be editing and if I open this up you'll see that we have the option of mapping so think of this as the program mix but we are implementing that in the UHF module itself so because I'll be using the channel 7 and 8 in my FPV goggles I'll have to edit the channel 7 and 8 over here so this is the seventh channel I'll set this to number 7 and similarly I'll set the channel 8 to number 8 and I'll save this if you want to use channel 5 and 6 or let's say 5 7 or 6 and 8 then accordingly just edit the numbers to the appropriate channel so at least with the MFT link UHF system uh, this is how I have to edit the files if you are using Dragon Link or any other UHF system, it will have its own software and you will have to make changes over there. And this setting only applies to the UHF transmitter. We don't have to make any changes in the UHF receiver. So after mapping the channels in the UHF transmitter module, we are pretty much ready to go. The only thing you will have to make sure is, uh, whichever channels you are using from your FPV goggles, make sure that uh, they are not occupied in your radio transmitter so if I go to the system settings of my FlySky transmitter 
so under the aux switches uh, you can see that I'm using 10 channels I'll have to set this to 6 and then save the settings otherwise what happens is if you accidentally use the channels that are assigned in the FPV goggles the radio will override those channels and the head tracking feature won't work so now I'll power on my goggles and I'll also power on the UHF transmitter so the first beep that you heard was an indication that the UHF transmitter has detected the PPM channels from the FPV goggles and the pan and tilt servos are connected to channel 7 and 8 on my UHF receiver so now I'll power on my RC car so now if I move my FPV goggles you can see that the pan and tilt servos are moving as well And similarly I can even use the Dumbo RC radio so if I disconnect the fly sky transmitter and connect my Dumbo RC radio and if I power on you will see that everything just works fine so that's how you use the head tracking feature on your UHF transmitter so if you have any other UHF system like the Dragonlink, TBS Crossfire, Easy UHF or any other UHF system that has a head tracker port, uh, this is pretty much how you would set it up and use it. But there's one thing that's a bit tedious about this setup and that's to do with all the wires that you see over here. So if you want to eliminate all of the wires and just use your radio and your FPV goggles, my suggestion would be to use a radio that has the trainer function built in so that you can directly connect your goggles to the transmitter and then use the 2.4 GHz receiver as a relay with the UHF transmitter module and minimize the clutter so and this is with the relay system that I talked about earlier so basically the radio and the goggles are connected through the head tracking cable and the 2.4 GHz receiver which is bound to the radio is connected to the UHF transmitter so all I have to do is just plug in a battery which powers on the receiver and the receiver powers on the UHF transmitter and then the signal goes to the UHF receiver. So if I move my FPV goggles you can see that the servo moves. So that's why I would suggest that use a radio that has the trainer function to accept the PPM channels from the FPV goggles so that way you can have a clean setup so that's about it that's all I had to share in this video uh, if you found this video helpful uh, like always make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for my next videos